today we are working on the eighth segment of my Spell Queen Zodiac Circle. And that can only mean one thing. Happy birthday, Scorpio! And here is your segment that we will be completing today and talking about your personality traits and characteristics. And I have to say that I have had lots of interesting research because I didn't know a lot about Scorpio. And now I know why. You're a mysterious lot, aren't you? <laughs> Happy birthday to all Scorpios out there. And I hope that you're going to enjoy me revealing all about you. Now, when you think of a Scorpio, you immediately think of the obvious. The sexuality of a Scorpio is well renowned, but it goes a lot deeper than that, doesn't it, Scorpio? So we are going to be working on this segment of the Zodiac Circle by Spell Queen, as I say, and you can see the link for Spell Queen in the description box below. And if it is your first order with Spell Queen, you'll see that there is a discount code there for you. If you follow that link, and it, if it is your first purchase, I will get a little bit money back from Spell Queen. So thank you if you do do that. Now we've got that out of the way, we're going to concentrate on Scorpio traits, characteristics, what they might like as hobbies or pets and career choices, gemstones, etc. And that's what this video is going to be all about today. So firstly, I'm going to start with how Scorpio ended up being a star constellation in the sky. And we have to go back to Greek mythology for this one. So it's known in Greek mythology that Orion and Artemis went on a hunting expedition. And during that hunting expedition, Orion was bragging about his hunting prowess and saying that he was going to kill all of the animals in the kingdom. You know, he was bigging it up and puffing his chest out as it were. And all of this bragging really annoyed the goddess Gaia. And so she got a little bit annoyed and upset and decided to teach him a lesson. So what she did was sent a scorpion to sting him, which the scorpion did because that's the nature of a scorpion. And Orion was killed. So as a reminder, Zeus sent into the sky Orion and a scorpion to be a reminder for us all of the danger in being too egotistical. And that is how Scorpio ended up as a star constellation. Two reminders never to mess with Mother Nature. So in my introduction there, I touched on the obvious traits of a Scorpio being the sexual desire. But really, that's not all true. Scorpios are driven by love in all forms and they strive for that. So that's what gets them out of bed on a morning, not just into bed. <laughs> And Scorpios are deeply intuitive, really, really intuitive and will either be all in or all out of a relationship. There's no grey areas, it's black and white with a Scorpio, so that can be all encompassing. As I say, they have deep intuitive nature, which can be quite dark and mysterious. And it's this mysterious side that draws people to them with the curiosity of this sign. Because outwardly, a Scorpio looks very collected. Now, Scorpio is a water sign, so it is an emotional sign. 
the water signs are emotion. However, with a Scorpio, it's got more nuance than that. So they hold themselves together, um, even though the depths of what they're feeling run very deep. You wouldn't necessarily know that from the outside persona. So hence the mystery that surrounds them. And also because they've got this collected exterior that draws people to them, when they show their wit and charm, which they have a plenty, it's quite astonishing for people. And it again draws people towards them with that gift of surprise, that surprise element that you're not expecting from a Scorpio because a Scorpio is quite intense. They have this presence about them that can be quite intimidating, but then they will whip out their charm and all is lost. <laughs> <laughs> Not such a sting in the tail, but more a charm personified that takes you by surprise. But don't be deceived, that sting in the tail is still there and still can have an effect if a Scorpio is not a happy Scorpio. <laughs> Woe betide anybody that gets on the wrong side of a Scorpio. And that's not just um, in a personal way. That is, Scorpio will be on a mission throughout life. They'll have their missions and you don't want to get in between a Scorpio and their mission because they will be fixated on that mission until it is complete. They are a very strong sign for that. They have very broad shoulders that can carry people's problems and the mission that they have will not burden their shoulders. They just carry it easily. It's a natural thing for a Scorpio to have a mission. So Scorpios have an all-encompassing emotional life. They just get drawn completely into it. There's no grey areas. It's black and white with a Scorpio. They are all in or all out. And it can be quite deep and shadowy. As I say, with the mystery, Scorpios can have a secretive side because they're not wearing their emotions on their sleeve. They're carrying it all and they are very, very intuitive. So they will know immediately if they're being played. So best not try and get one over on a Scorpio. They will see it. They will see straight through that. very, very intuitive. So as you can see on the diamond painting, we have got a scorpion here depicted. And um, this here is the Scorpio symbol. And then we've got some symbolism down at the bottom of the segment. We do have some flowers here and the birthstone here. So the Scorpio season tends to be around about the October the 22nd to November the 21st. And I say around about because some sites differ to others. So I recommend if you've not had a birth chart done yet, then do go on the internet and search for a free birth chart. You don't have to pay for them. They are free resources out there. 
to see what placements you have in your birth chart because we are all made up of different signs depending where we were born, what time we were born, what date we were born. And you put those details into the site and you should get a detailed birth chart saying what all your placements are. So if you're not quite sure, then do look that up. I recommend Cafe Astrology for that. I've used those for years to get birth charts and um, interesting facts and things like that for people. And it is free. And you get a lot of comprehensive information from it. So the dates of when birth signs start and end can be quite loose. So do look that up. this really beautiful red colour. And ruby red is one of the colours for Scorpio, so that fits really well. Deep red. Now, birthstones, we've got opal if you're on October Scorpio and citrine if you're a November Scorpio. Neither of which of those are a deep red stone. However, with crystal healing, you do have a ruby as a crystal healing stone, as well as a bloodstone. They are reportedly good for Scorpios. As is amber, aquamarine, malachite and jasper. So you've got a whole mix of different colours in your healing crystals there. Amber being a very pale brown, aquamarine being a very subtle pale bluey green, malachite being a deep green, jasper can be all different colours. So lots of choice there. And if you look up the properties of crystal healing, then you may see which one may be good for you. So are you drawn to deep red? It is a beautiful autumnal color, a deep red, as the leaves change in the trees. So when I was looking up about the love side of Scorpio, as I say, we all expect the sexual nature of a Scorpio, but it does go deeper than that. And I found some information that I'm actually going to quote because I can't say it any better than this. Those born with this placement have a do or die attitude when it comes to love, either going all in or becoming vengeful if they are scorned. Love, affection and connection may either be somewhat fraught or very potent, exciting and outside the norms of society. The passion and friction that this placement produces may be channeled into the artistic pursuits of these creative individuals. Now, I thought that was really well put. Reading about Scorpio, that just seemed to encompass exactly what Scorpios are aiming for. Because it talks about pursuit, it talks about being all-encompassing, exciting, out of the norms of society. That was an interesting part. So I'd be interested, if you're a Scorpio watching this, do you think that fits your description? Remember, we are all a blend of different signs. So if it isn't you and yet you are a Scorpio birth sign, then perhaps there's another placement in your chart that is more likely for you in that mix. So we've got a few of these in the tail of the Scorpio. 
and also in this bottom area of the flowers, which I am going to go on to next. I'm going to do some of the sevens in here and tell you about these flowers because it's quite difficult to see on the segment because it is a smaller canvas, this one. It is a 50 by 50. If you're thinking of purchasing this canvas, I would go bigger for more detail. It's perfect size for my videos, talking about the different traits and things, but you don't get to see a lot of the detail in this segment. So I did look up before doing the video about these flowers and they are the lilies. And that made sense to me because the tarot card for Scorpio is the death card. And of course, lilies are well known for being funeral flowers. And it got me thinking because when we pull out a death tarot card, we get a little bit like, ooh. However, the death card is not saying you're going to die or someone you know is going to die. And I think that's what people tend to think the death card is. But no, the death card is about transformation. It's about cycles coming to a close and starting afresh. It's a really positive card. And Scorpio is a sign of evolution. They are creatures of evolution, of changing, of growing into maturity and having those cycles start and finish throughout life. If you can imagine yourself as a teenager and how much different you are today. So I found that a really interesting link to the tarot and having the lilies depicted as your flower just made sense. It was just like, oh, you know, ding, <laughs> the light went on. <laughs> and I thought, right, I have to absolutely mention that. You may not be into tarot. It isn't... Um, something that everybody is into, but there are those connections with the tarot cards that are linked to the star signs. And another thing I noticed as well, when I was looking, when I was looking at the section before coming to diamond paint, I've not noticed this before, but under here, there is a little tail of blue and this one and this depicts the water and each sign has the elemental picture underneath the birthstone so Scorpio is water so you have water as the end of this segment here and like I say I didn't notice that for any of the other signs I've already done before So what sort of children are Scorpios? Scorpio children are like, they have a lot of layers. If you imagine um, an onion peeling back all of the different layers, that is your Scorpio child. They are not just one note. They have a lot going on. And because they like privacy, you may find that quite difficult because they will want to keep some things private. Um, however, they have a real need for security. The Scorpio child really values the security. So that might be quite a tricky balance for you. If You might recognize that if you were a Scorpio child or if you have a Scorpio child, then Offer them that security. Let them have a little bit of privacy. Obviously not dangerously so, but they will appreciate that. They have quite, they are quite intense as Scorpio children and they can be quite adult-like. Maybe you think, gosh, you're wise beyond your years, you must have been here before, you know, those sort of sayings. More likely than not, it's a Scorpio child. 
and they have such resilience they can bounce back from all sorts of knocks in life as long as they've got this secure base to begin with. So what career choice would really suit a Scorpio? Well, Scorpios really like investigation. If you think of the intuitive side and put that with investigation, then you may not be surprised to hear that a private investigator is a really good career choice. However, Scorpios don't really want to be distracted from their goals. Do you remember me saying about distraction and they're on a mission? Um, so they may want to work alone on this, have their own practice, um, work alone to investigate. However, they may also like research. Again, looking into different aspects um, in a lab, perhaps finding out those details. What about journalism, investigating a story, writing it down? Um, in Because don't forget, we've got the creative traits of a Scorpio, very, very creative, could be creative writing but more in a journalistic way. <laughs> Not saying that journalism is creative in their facts. <laughs> Based on facts and working in a journalistic manner, that's what I meant. <laughs> Scorpios have a real drive for career. They're very, very driven again goes back to being on a mission but let's not forget the sexual side it's got to keep coming up <laughs> um, and the interest in sex what about being a sexual health practitioner a sexual counsellor, helping others with their issues, especially having those strong shoulders, like I say, you can carry burdens, so perhaps some sort of counsellor would be a good choice for you. Phew, I hope I haven't got myself into trouble with any journalists out there. <laughs> talking about creative writing and journalism at the same time. Oh dear, I might be in hot water there, especially as my sister is, um, well, was a journalist, is now a journalist lecturer. <laughs> oh dear, she may well be having words with me for that one. Oops. <laughs> now, as we head into the background colours, I'm just going to pop these Fs in before we do that. I will speed up the video to get the background in and then we will come back and talk about hobbies and pets and see what else I can get myself into trouble with. <laughs> Oh, and I did forget to mention that I will be mentioning about um, physical appearances as well. That's all to come.
the physical traits of a Scorpio, very alluring, with a resilient look about them and sensual features. The two most sensual features, no need to turn off, it's fine, <laughs> are the lips and the neckline. Um, very broad shoulders to carry the weight of their pursuits and problems. So they are the physical traits. Quite average height, well dressed, but not dressed to stand out in a crowd because they shine enough in a crowd anyway. So when it comes to pets, Scorpios may well keep creepy crawlies, spiders, tarantulas, um, scorpions, those sorts of pets, or something quite extravagant like a Burmese cat. And when it comes to hobbies, and this did make me chuckle a little bit, so I am going to read it verbatim. Physical sports, like sex, martial arts, sex, target shooting, sex, running and sex. <laughs> so very physical hobbies for a Scorpio. And here we've got your section now finished. So I will zoom out and we'll talk about what we can see in the segment. Here is the segment for Scorpio with, of course, the scorpion depicted with the bright red claws and the tail here. This is the Scorpio symbol. Again, if the canvas was bigger, that would have a lot more detail. And going down into the lilies here, then we've got the birthstone. I think this is depicted as the citrine with the orange in the middle. And then going to the tip of the segment being the water element to finish. So this has been your video, Scorpio. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you saw the funny side as well in some of my comments. And I do hope that you can join me again. I'm not going to stop your pursuit of diamond painting any longer. So take care, everybody. Bye for now.